What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shots React, and, and we're, we're back with, with another, another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road, road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get it. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Buck is really not a Trinidadian thing. It's a Guyanese thing. The buck is supposed to be a little creature that you can control to do a lot of evil things that you want to do. Mainly like destroying people. So there'll be a little man with sharp teeth and maybe claws. And you have to feed him at feed certain him. times. Six times to keep him under your control. So usually they kept him in a bottle. If he ever got out of that bottle and was not fed at the time, he would turn on anybody, including the person who formerly owned him. The book is a thing now. Whoa, 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 so off the back, this one sounds the most creepiest. Right. Keep it in you the bottle. You gotta feed it, you gotta keep it in the bottle. You gotta feed it on time. Right. And it's little. And what happens if you don't feed it on time? He mentioned it, uh, I believe. <laughs> Child, listen. I believe. Let's see. This makes me think of um some fairy tale Disney movie. You know what I thought of? No, I ain't gonna say it. Yeah, yeah what? I thought what? about it. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Gotta give that man a cookie when he come to give you a present. Child. If you don't <laughs> give him a cookie, you know what I'm saying? It's like that's the first thing I thought about when it comes to like uh feeding it. Feeding something, you know what I'm yeah. saying, that comes at whatever time of the day it's supposed to come. It's like a cookie is waiting why for. Why are you making Santa Claus? Exactly scary. why they didn't want to say anything because, <laughs> you know, it's like Santa Claus. Kids love Santa Claus. No, I get it. But he got to feed. Make me feel. You got to feed him. Yeah. <laughs> but let's see what happens if you don't. So usually they kept him in a bottle. If he ever got out of that bottle and was not fed at the time, he would turn on anybody, including the time. person who formerly owned him. He would turn on people. He's walking the thing now. Like a little Tasmanian devil. You have to get. A young person, 18 years, 19 years, or 20 years. So these box in the night, they have a special room that I would put the box in there and get this woman and put the woman inside of, inside of that room. So the box will come now and cohabit with the girl because that is what they love plenty. And that's why they could do anything for you. Any evil thing, I could get the box to do it. People who are Child. well... Y'all know we love like bed and breakfast places, you know. We love to feel like we are a citizen of the place. But if I go <laughs> and I see a bottle in a room, empty that check that. out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> check out what? You know what uh, just a random bottle. Information. Child. When you know when you know what you know, you know, mm -hmm. you know what to look out for. Oh. And um, yeah, why that why that bottle in there? Mm -mm. I need to know. Mm -mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a few crackers in my pocket. Do I have well, to use it? Suddenly wealthy. There's a lot of suspicion about them. How do they suddenly accumulate all of this wealth? Ooh. And there is a common belief that some of them would be minding a buck, which they believe um, would be brought from either Suriname or Guyana. And it's a commonality uh, spanning a lot of traditions, both Indian and African, that you have to feed these creatures with cigarettes. Punch and rum, white punch and rum, and the salted biscuits. And this buck will bring you great wealth and, and sudden wealth, wealth very quickly. In Guyana, we, call, we, we speak of these people as bakus, but the baku, however, had to be fed, and you had to feed the baku. This is the Guyanese version, and um, a diet of bananas and milk. And if you ran out of bananas and milk, you were in trouble because the Baku would then turn against you. This is a kind of myth very much like the Faustian myth where you make a commitment with a demon or a devil. The devil is going to do whatever you want and you will live a life of comfort, of ease, of wealth, so long as you can keep your part of the bargain. The Baku seems to be a, a reduced version of that devil figure. In Guyana, um, when people speak of a buck, they are talking about an Amerindian or whatever, whatever tribe. So the bucks, I mean, and it's a, a pejorative term, really. I mean, probably taken from America, where it was used in nearly the same way. And in this book about bucks, they were talking about the, the native Guyanese people. In Ghana, because Ghana is a place with high woods, 
when black people escaped from slavery and went into the forest to hide, the British authorities would send the Amerindians to hunt them down. Mm. Now the black people running and hiding in the bush. The Amerindian living in the bush. Ah, right, yeah, we're gonna mm -hmm. stop right there. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. It went from scary to I need to know more about that type, that part of the history. Yeah. Um. I. I, I mean, it's 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 expected though. You know what I'm saying? When during that time they was trying to succeed yeah. in a certain way of getting things done. I, I, it's just probably the tip of the iceberg, just as much yeah, as all the yeah, information yeah. that you guys may have came across as well. But more about the book. So mm -hmm. to uh, for us, they have certain things that you just don't want to say three times in the dark uh -huh. or in the mirror. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like we got those type of uh, myths and mm -hmm. fork tales and stuff like that. But um, for the book, is it, did, did he mention, did you catch at the beginning what causes the book to come into your life? Wealth. Agreement. You, you want wealth. A, a, yeah. a, a agreement that you make with it. Yeah, you make the agreement. Mm -mm -mm. Don't be making bad agreements, Sean. I keep, I keep my thoughts quiet. Mm -mm -mm. My head don't be running around and a lot of things be going to and from my mind. I just uh -huh. keep it chill, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because as soon as you don't there. have no crackers or no bananas or milk. cigarettes and milk. Oh, what's up, cigarettes? cigarettes. Chai's going to turn on you. <laughs> All right, all right. we are enjoying learning all of these Caribbean folk tales. Yeah. Let us know if you are enjoying it as well. Let us know if you have any experience with this. We want to know. Yeah, story time. All right. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.